Okay, welcome to the video for the forehand push. Uh, this is a stroke that many players uh, find difficult, uh, really just because they, they don't know the, the little trick that makes it easy to hit a consistent forehand push, which we'll talk about here. The trick involved is really just that the forehand push is the one stroke that really uh, you need to actually dip the right shoulder and take the shoulders out of a level alignment in order to play the stroke comfortably. And you can see here it's a good example of how the, the right shoulder dips down. That puts the elbow, your right elbow, into a more comfortable position to make the swing and makes it for a, a comfortable forward swing where you can go through the ball. And that one little secret really uh, makes all the difference. The other things you can see now that we're into the, the slow motion version is you can see that there is actually a little bit of shoulder turn in this stroke where the shoulders help bring the, ball, the bat back into position. Bat stops around about the right knee. Uh, I'm bringing it back to around about the height that I actually want to hit the ball at. And the swing, just like the backhand push, the swing is mainly forward, uh, perhaps a little bit down, with an open racket angle, really tilted quite backwards there. You'll see it. And that angle is more or less maintained throughout the stroke and the ball goes forwards there. Now I'm playing this shot against a backspin ball. Against a topspin ball the stroke would be a little bit more downwards and probably the racket would be a tiny little bit more uh, a little bit more vertical and plenty of height over the net. Uh, stance again, typical forehand stance, right foot back, uh, left foot forward. Contact being made around about in front of the left knee. And now just going to a front view. From the front view the dipping of the right shoulder uh, is pretty obvious now. You can see that contact's being made out to the side of the body. The bat being brought back into the path of the ball to reduce the chances of uh, missing the contact, free arm going along for the ride, watching the ball right onto the bat. I like on my forehand push to use a little bit of wrist. I'm used to doing that um, after many years. It's not really needed to use an excessive amount of wrist. You can see now that I'm just, just towards the end stopped using the wrist so much. Uh, for consistency, you can use less wrist as you improve and master the stroke you can vary the wrist as desired and just coming through here you can see now that the contact really is again well to the side my elbows clear of my body and the bat being taken right back into the path of the ball watching the ball come towards the bat it's again a compact swing, it's not a long swing. Swing finishes, there I'm sliding underneath the ball a little bit more. And that just gives me a little bit more backspin, requires greater precision. And we now just go to the uh, very slow motion from the, from the front view. Watching the ball bounce right onto the bat, a little bit of wrist and forearm swing as well as the turning of the shoulders to bring the bat back and the bat stopping again around about the middle of the body and back into my recovery position. It would be probably possible to stop the swing even earlier than that if you liked. Uh, I'm playing against a robot so I'm just being fairly relaxed in my recovery because I know roughly what time the ball's coming back back into the ready position and moving straight into the next stroke. Again just you can see how the the bat just really stops and waits for the ball to come just fractionally and to get down the line just a little bit more of a turn of the shoulders just to allow for the down the line swing. Uh, 